Wow, our students are rock stars. Um, they are doing everything right. Um, they've even decided as teens sometimes to self-quarantine so that they could continue to practice or play when they thought that they might have been exposed to another teen. The students that are staying home who've decided to do virtual only, um, you know, they're supporting their own mental health without the anxiety or fear of getting sick with COVID. Um, so I feel like giving them the option this year has just been, it's been perfect for everyone involved. Um, but the students that are on campus, I'm so proud of them. I just can't, I, I had no idea that they had this in them, but they must really love being there because they're doing everything right. Wow, um, so each student who's on campus um, has a single room or they're in a room by themselves. Um, we've tried to put people in bubbles um, as far as like athletic teams, you know, that are, that are together anyway. We try to keep them sort of on the same hallways. Um, of course, the face covering policy, everyone seems to be following that. We've had very few complaints of people not wearing their masks. Um, social distancing, I had one student who was a Wildcat Wellness Council um, member who said, we forget that we can kind of hang out outside, you know, socially distance. We just kind of go back to our rooms and do our own thing. So, right, right. So we have met uh, virtually. Um, we have um, participated in the involvement fair to get new members. Um, Jody Mizador is our president and Avery Dinger is our vice president. So Avery's on campus, Jody's off campus. Um, so we've been doing everything virtually. Um, there was an interest meeting, uh, I think a week and a half, two weeks ago um, to get new members. So we are working on that and working on programming. We are gonna be doing um, Wellness Wednesdays again, probably in collaboration with um, the SG, the student government. Um, but um, so telehealth um, and the health center sort of uh, branched off of the telecounseling that the counseling center was doing. Um, and we utilized it quite often in the fall. Um, however, this semester, we have not used that in the health center maybe once, um, but with the increased testing on campus um, and the safety measures we're taking, we feel safe letting students come to the health center. Um, we're seeing lots of, of students for wellness visits. We had a freshman, a first year student who actually called and said, hi, I'm a first year, just would like to come down and get to know everybody, you know, find out about your services. Um, and so that was so refreshing just to have somebody inquire and want to meet us and and come down for just a wellness chat, basically, about, you know, how, how can I do college, you know, healthy. Um, so we really haven't used the telehealth this semester, but it's because of our increased capability for testing. Right, right. So um, I guess one of the biggest um, things was when the National Guard did come to do the entire campus and we did the PCR testing on campus for everyone. Um, I think we did about 600 tests that day. Um, yeah, and that was in, in, in collaboration with the Virginia Department of Health. So my local contact at the health department um, set that all up um, and that was at no charge to the campus at all. It was, it went really smoothly. Um, and um, so that was like our biggest thing. So right now, now that we have plenty of testing available on campus, um, and I, I will say we did buy tests um, from Abbott, the rapid antigen tests. We bought 8,500 and the state has since given us probably 7,500 for free. So through the health department connections, I was able to request more testing. Um, so that's why we're able to do all this mandatory testing for students on Wednesdays. So um, really well, um, we have been able to isolate cases that um, have been exposed, uh, test those students. If they test negative, we put them in quarantine over in Grosvenor Apartments. Um, and if they, obviously if they were positive, we put them straight into isolation on web. Um, and then, I, you know, I don't think it's lovely and I don't think the students are, you know, excited about being in isolation in web, um, but we're trying to make the best of it. You know, I talk to them almost daily via text um, or email or they call me, um, I'll take them ice cream or I'll go get their laundry for them so they can do their laundry. I just want them to be as comfortable as possible. Um, um, but I think that the biggest thing is our students and how they have 
kept us open, um, how their actions, their behaviors, and their attitudes have been so wonderful. It's, we love our school, we want to be together, and we want to stay open as long, you know, for the semester, and, and we're making it work.